Lauren, today's topic is menopause. Did you know about 6,000 women reach menopause every single day? That is more than 2 million each year. And once you reach menopause, you'll spend about 40 years in that stage. Most women do reach it in their 40s or 50s. And today, a woman's life expectancy is about 80 years old. And you are weighing in this morning about your experience with menopause. And here's what you're saying. I was never able to find anything that worked for hot flashes. And they were by far the number one most bothersome side effect of menopause. And for me, they lasted eight years. Years. Someone else saying, hey, try cold press flaxseed oil capsules for the hot flashes. And the added bonus is that they could be good for your cholesterol. Keep weighing in. You can go to our Facebook page or you can text us at 22333. Also, head to getcurrentnow.com. Click on polls. You can answer there. And of course, we will keep your name out of it. We know that this is personal this morning. Time to see what the experts are saying, though, about menopause. We have Janice Barr, a professor from the University of Illinois, joining us, as well as Laura Herringer, a nurse practitioner from Christie Clinic. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Laura, I want to start with you. Talk to us a little bit just about some of the basics of menopause. How will women know if this is a stage they're starting to go through? Oh, first, a little bit of definition. Menopause itself is one year without periods. Okay. So that makes that part. The problem is most of the symptoms and the complaints start long before the menopause in what we call the perimenopausal time period. That's when you'll start to notice the hot flashes, the night sweats, mood swings, irritability, and changes in the period. Um, and that's probably the number one cause that women come in to talk to us about is when their periods start to become irregular. So for that part, that could start as early as in your late 30s or 40s and go on then until you hit that one year without periods. And I was going to ask, how long can that that period without periods or until you don't have your period last? Because that can be really frustrating for people who are dealing with uh, severe symptoms. Oh, the irregularity part yeah. of the periods could go on 5, 10, 15 years almost. Um, so it's really different from everybody. And I'm sure uh, Janice here is going to be able to give us a lot more details on the ovary itself, but the reality is that women's symptoms are what's bringing them in to see me, and that's that irregular period. And there are options that we can do to help them. And once they hit menopause, the one year without periods, then we're dealing with a different set of symptoms to some degree. The hot flushes and night sweats continue for a few more years, although I have to admit I have women in their 60s who tell me they still have hot flashes going on. So <laughs> I can't give anybody an answer of this number of years. You're done, you're free. Different it, for everyone. Absolutely. And I think that's the biggest part about menopause is that it is very different for everyone. And you really need someone who's willing to help you work through what are your specific issues. And Janice, you've done a lot of uh, mm -hmm. research about this. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about your area of expertise when sure. it comes to dealing with menopause. Sure. Well, uh, I'm a professor of physiology. And in physiology, of course, my specialty is endocrinology. And in that, it's in reproductive biology. And so since my uh, even my PhD thesis was on the function of the ovary, so I have studied ovarian physiology, uh, action of hormones, particular estrogen, progesterone in, in the body for many, many years. So, um, you know, the question always is, well, you know, when menopause occurs, you know, people tend to say, well, it's because the ovary is running out of eggs, you know. And it's true, I mean, because, you know, we're born with about four, you know, we only will ovulate probably 400 eggs in our lifetime. Uh, but it's true. So there is an ovarian factor, but probably the real cause when, uh, when um, menopause starts is really a change in the function of the brain, specifically the hypothalamus and pituitary that control the ovary. But, uh, this is interesting because they've done studies in animals where they've taken ovaries from young animals mm -hmm. and put them in old animals. And they will, then these old animals will act like young an animals for a while. They'll cycle and have normal, re you know, reproductive cycles. But then it, it only after a short time, and then it fails, which tells us that it's not just the ovary. So the ovary is sort of the handmaid of the brain. So um, no matter what we want to say, you know, it's, there are definitely changes at level, but primarily driven by the hypothalamus. And then the other is, I, and I, maybe Laura has seen this, but there's a, quite a strong genetic component in the time of menopause. Because sometimes when women talk to me about it, I say, well, do you know when your mother went through menopause or your sisters? Um, because even though someone has been on a birth control pill her entire life or had many children or had no children and just had normal cycles, uh, they, they tend to reach menopause about the same time. So we also have that. 
Yeah, so so know your family history if you yeah, want some that, answers to, <laughs> to right. some at of least those questions. At least uh, I have found that from talking many women that talk to me about menopause. Okay, <laughs> and that kind of brings up another question because we see some women deal with these symptoms, Laura. Some, but but not everyone goes through the same severity or even has symptoms at all. Correct. Um, the previous speaker was talking about how severe her hot flashes were. Some women come in and tell me they never had a single hot flash the entire time. Other women say it's completely debilitating, help me, I can't <laughs> function with it, this. Right. So mm -hmm. those symptoms are very much different. And we want to point out that when women say that sometimes, I mean, they're not exaggerating. Oh, this no. Is, this can be, this really can be debilitating. Correct. Especially the night sweats. It gets them up two, three, four times a night. If you don't sleep for six to eight hours every night, you're going to eventually have a lot of loss of memory, a loss of being able to function during the day, irritability, relationships get in trouble. It's very important that we control those symptoms for women and that they feel free to come in and talk to us about those symptoms.